Hey everybody, I'm Tim and today we're talking about the only real estate that makes sense right now and that's a home for your cigars. And you're watching Cigars Daily. Help us future-proof Cigars Daily when you watch these videos on CigarsDailyPlus.com where you can find extra content and coupon codes and a whole lot more because we're always working to make it better on Cigars Daily Plus. So when you think of a humidor as a home for your cigars, the habitat for your precious collection, you probably think about a box sort of like this one right here, a wooden box. And I think we've all sort of come up to be trained. You see it in the movies. You see it in your friends' houses. They've got a nice decorative wooden container to carry their cigars. Probably has Spanish cedar on the inside. And for a long time, I believed that that was just what a humidor was. I had no freaking clue that there are so many different types of humidors out there. There are like so many different materials you can use in a humidor and ways to store your cigar and ways that people are currently doing it today that I wanted to take you through this together. I actually got an email about this just this week. This email comes from Logan who says, I wanted to reach out to you to thank you for the speedy delivery. It has nothing to do with humidors. I just thought I'd mention it. We do have speedy delivery. You're welcome, Logan. Also, can we get another humidor video? I'm looking to purchase one and I'm unsure which route to go. Thank you for all your information and for the Cigars Daily channel. Well, Logan, say no more. Just ask for another video and here one is. And truly, he says he's unsure which route to go because there are so many different routes these days. And that's really what I want to take you through in this video. There are so many different ways you can go for humidor and storage of your cigars that will take amazing care of them. And some of these actually work better than others. And so I'll take you guys into it, but I ask you up front right now, what do you use as a humidor? What is your go-to? Where is your collection being stored? And if, and if it's a Ziploc bag, then dear God, go read the comments, find something more permanent for yourself. Also, I want to let you know that for this video, I'm smoking the Drew Estate Undercrown 10 year because this is exactly the kind of cigar that comes with this amazing presentation and outstanding construction and flavor that you'd want to have like a really good place to store your cigars. And that really is what brings us to the crux of cigar storage. Your collection is all about your enjoyment. And so that collection should stay in like the perfect condition for you, whatever that condition is. If it's higher humidity, if it's lower humidity, it's just gotta be the one that you like. And so today I'm gonna to take you into these different types of containers. If you've got a collection with Undercrown 10s or other cigars that you're very proud of and want to enjoy, here's the different routes people are going and some of the pros and cons for each. Now, when it comes to picking out a humidor, and especially if it's your first humidor, there are some pros and cons you want to know about, some things you want your humidor to do, and some things you want it to not do for sure. And I'll sort of take you through those as we talk about each humidor here, but I like these right here because while most people think wooden humidor when they think of a humidor for their desk, they've seen it in the movies, the friend has a very fancy, very handsome looking humidor. A lot of people in the cigar world today are actually gravitating toward like Tupperware and the different types of containers that quite frankly, you probably already have in your kitchen. This one is made of Pyrex and I really like these because they have the added benefit that if you drop them, they will shatter into a billion pieces. But also, these have some of the really great pros that you want in a good humidor. And the number one thing you want is a really good, solid seal. You see, in order for your cigars to stay in good shape, they have to have moisture in them. Remember, these are just dead leaves that have been rolled up. So if they dry out, they're gonna be sort of like those leaves that you step on in the parking lot and they just go crunch. They also don't taste very good if you light them up. If you've ever noticed, I don't know if you have, why would you? You have no reason to. When it comes to a premium cigar and all of the flavor in the flavor profile that's intended for your taste buds, you want to maintain them perfectly. And to do that, you've got to have that right level of humidity for you. For some people, that's 70%. 
For some, it's 65%. I'm not even joking. I have a humidor at home that I've been keeping at 57% and have been very, very happy with the cigars I've been pulling out of it. There is a nice range there where you can keep your humidity, but you'll never get there if you can't trust the seal on your humidor. So that's a big one. And if you go the Tupperware route, you'll get a good seal almost every time. And I'm a big fan of Rubbermaid's Brilliance line. I never thought I would have a favorite Tupperware in my life, but here I am sitting in front of a camera talking about Tupperware. Things I thought I would never say out loud. Wow. Anyway, when it comes to Tupperware, you probably already have some of this stuff. And then another big pro about Tupperware, other than the fact that it's affordable and seals well, uh, is that this stuff doesn't typically have any additional odor that it's gonna add. And that's a big thing for cigar storage. Also, because your cigars are made out of just leaves, they tend to be like absorbent. They'll absorb moisture and odors if they're in the air. And so having something with a neutral smell is a big deal. You can get them made out of glass and plastic, but you can also use acrylic. And this is one of my favorite things. I tell people all the time, if I could go back to day one of cigars and start all over, I would use an acrylic jar humidor like this one right here. I keep these in my shop. We keep them in stock as often as we can, but we fly through them. This one right here is specifically made for the whole cigar experience. Of course, there's acrylic jars out there that you can get for all kinds of stuff, but these ones come with a, high or a humidifier in the top and it has Spanish cedar in the bottom and Spanish cedar is an important thing to add to your collection. You know, there's an aroma aspect with cigars and something about that aroma of Spanish cedar helps cigars age over time and really keeps your collection in sort of what's considered by cigar smokers to be the best possible condition and the best possible outcome. So Spanish cedar, generally speaking, a good thing for storage. But I like the acrylic jar because this one actually has a rubberized seal on it that gives you absolute airtight seal for your cigars. And again, seal is a massively important part of how you store your collection. Here in Arizona, where things tend to be pretty dry, it can be really hard to keep moisture in a container just because the air gets so dry. And so I recommend these. And again, if I could go back and do it again, I would be using one of these. They fit about 20 cigars. They're like way more affordable than most other humidors you'll find out there. And to me, this is like a set it and forget it solution, which isn't really the idea with cigars. You wanna kind of tend to your collection, but with this thing, you can throw a Boveda pack in there, put your cigars in there, close it up, and the thing's ready to go, and the packs last for like six months, even here in the desert. Now let me take you back to the wooden humidor, the one that I think like rings in most people's mind as the right way to keep your cigars. Now that's really ultimately should be up to you and there are pros and cons even with a wooden humidor. One of the huge pros with these is that it is authentically one of the classiest looking ways to keep your cigar. A nice wooden humidor can be presented on your desktop or on your kitchen counter, somewhere where people can see it. They make them with glass tops. The inside of these is always really nice because they do come lined with that Spanish cedar. So there's a lot of good look and feel about the presentation of a wooden humidor, but there are a few drawbacks with these that actually put wooden humidors on the back burner for me in terms of what I recommend for people to store their cigars. And here's a few of them. Number one, real wood has gotten unbelievably expensive. And a humidor even of this size, made out of real wood, would cost you probably a couple of hundred dollars. And there's a few guys that make them out there. These days, what you essentially get when you go after a wooden humidor, and you're gonna get this from pretty much anywhere, it's like the Ikea humidor of humidors. This one right here is called the Chardonnay. It's made out of particle board. I mean, the wood inside is literally wood, like wood chips and glue all glued together. There is a Spanish cedar veneer, just a very thin sheets of Spanish cedar put on the inside that authentically does function the way that Spanish cedar does. So it does give you that nice aromatic addition to the place you're gonna store your collection, which is a very good thing. But then this one also has like a wood looking print sort of printed on the outside. It's not like, it looks classier than it is. That's what I should say about these things. And I don't think that they're all bad. The challenge that I see with a lot of wooden humidors is that it can be sort of hit or miss as to what kind of seal you're gonna get. They have this really nice lip on the inside of the lid that people will tell you if it whooshes. Yeah, the, let me set this thing down flat. I wanna see if it'll whoosh or if it'll slam shut. 
So people will tell you if you get a whoosh out of it or if you hear a smack, that's how you tell if it's got a good seal. If it whooshes and you hear the air go out and it's like, whoo, then you know you got a good seal. If it smacks, which that one seems to, it's kind of in between a whoosh and a smack. If it smacks, then it doesn't have a good seal. And I gotta tell you, that's a lot of crap. That That is not true at all. The only thing that determines how good the seal in your humidor is, is how well does the thing hold humidity. And I've seen very whooshy lids that have not held humidity well at all. And that has to do with the fact that there's more seams around the inside of your humidor than just what goes around the lid. There are seams inside the box in the corner here. All those seams when it comes to wood can leak humidity and so they can be sort of problematic and that's one of the big drawbacks with wooden humidors especially for people who like the really classy looking ones that have the glass on the top those can even add another layer of complexity for holding humidity and so when you get one of these you got to kind of know what the drawbacks are it looks classier than it physically is but Let's face it, so does all the other IKEA furniture in your house. And this thing can come with some issues for uh, for storing and maintaining humidity. But again, it is a, sort of the classy way to keep your collection. So you gotta kind of measure out the drawbacks. I see a lot of people going away from wooden humidors and going back to stuff like Tupperware and acrylics to store like their entire collection. Now, before I dive into the last humidor, which I actually put on the barrel behind me because it's too big for my table here, I want to talk about large wooden cabinet stand-up humidors like the one behind me right here. This one's also made of wood, and I've probably had this thing for six or seven years now, and they work well. If you're going to get a large cabinet wooden humidor, there's a few things you need to know. They have all the same benefits and drawbacks of a small wooden humidor. Be concerned about the seal. Make sure that you take good care of the thing so it's well humidified and well seasoned on the inside. But also, when you store one of these, you want to store it away from an exterior wall. You don't want to put wooden humidors of any type in the path of like an air conditioning vent that could cause them to dry out faster. Just a little bit more maintenance intensive. And that's one of the reasons a lot of people have started to gravitate toward a humidor like what's on my barrel right here. This is from a company called Need One, and this is their thermoelectric refrigerador or whatever they call it. They got like a million names, cooler door, refrigerador, wine cooler converted into a humidor. And the truth is this one here is actually made for cigars. It uses a thermoelectric motor that does not take humidity out of the air as it cools, that gives you that added feature of cooling. And some of these thermoelectric humidors even give you the ability to heat your cigars in the winter, like if your house doesn't get cold enough or hot enough to be exactly where the cigars want to be. This is a huge thing in cigars, and I get this question about humidors more than just about anything. People are like, I want to keep my cigars at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. But my house is at 76 or 78 or 80 degrees because I can't afford to keep my AC down that low. Or I live in California and they tell me I have to. So this can complicate things substantially. And if you're using a wooden humidor or like a Tupperware, you don't have much choice. Your humidor's internal temperature is going to be whatever the temperature of the room is. If your room is at 78, so then shall your cigars be, right? And that's not ideal. When it comes to a thermoelectric humidor like this, other than the fact that they're a little bit bigger, you can also control that temperature. And that gives you a really serious advantage, especially if you live in an apartment or really concerned about the AC bill or are married to somebody who really is concerned about the AC bill. Now, the other massive advantage of a refrigerated humidor like this is that it has an amazing seal. The door on the side, which is literally open on this one, is a refrigerator door. You don't get a better seal than that. So for the ability to contain humidity, I think thermoelectric humidors like this are gonna give you as much of an advantage as you could possibly want. This one has shelves that are made out of Spanish cedar, so it still has that aromatic effect. A couple of downsides of these, they're gonna be a more expensive option. I think they're still pretty affordable. Like this one right here is around 200 bucks. So it's not like out of this world expensive, but I think for the top of the line, you get in sort of decently on price. The other drawback with these, and this is one that's of big concern is odor. Sometimes these thermoelectric humidors will arrive from the factory with sort of a plasticky smell about them. And that can be really problematic for your collection. It can cause it to feel like every cigar that you light up 
from that humidor has sort of a plasticky taste to it. It's something I, I actually used to own a humidor that I battled with like crazy to try to make sure that it didn't have that plasticky smell and it cost me more than the cost of the actual humidor to get rid of that smell. So that part can be problematic and it's why when you get one of these, you wanna crack the thing open, open the door, take a big huge whiff and see, do you smell cedar or something a little more gnarly? And then very briefly, I wanna to touch on this because if you're just getting into cigars and your collection is like just kicking off, maybe you just bought a sampler so you got five or six cigars or you've got 10 cigars in your collection and you're just not quite to the point where you wanna get the containers yet. Boveda makes these one year humidor bags, which I gotta say, I've been unbelievably impressed with these things. In the cigar world, people know that you really don't wanna keep your cigars in a Ziploc bag. They're not airtight. They don't hold humidity. You don't get a good seal on them, even though you get the feel good zippy locky thing at the top. It's still gonna leak that humidity out. So you don't wanna keep your cigars in Ziploc for more than like a few days. If you've got a Boveda in there, five to seven days is probably as long as you wanna do that, unless you've got other padding or packaging. When it comes to the Boveda one year humidor bag, these things literally function as a humidor for a year and they do an outstanding job. So you can buy a humidor for a year for, I don't know, what are these, like 12 or 16 bucks for one of these bags. They can literally throw them into the order. And I think that this is a really cool idea that Boveda executed really, really well, especially because if you can get a Boveda pack in there, the thing once again is kind of a set it and forget it deal. It's just not gonna control your temperature or anything like that. Okay, there you go. A good look at some starter humidors. And I'm gonna ask you again, drop a comment down below. What humidor do you use? What humidor do you recommend? Like let everybody who's just getting into this know what's worked and what hasn't worked for you. And I'll tell you, if you're watching this video and looking for more information on humidors, read the comments because the guys and gals in the Cigars Daily Nation have tons of experience. And I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for this video. Do check it out on CigarsDailyPlus.com. Thank you all so much for watching. This is Tim signing off for Cigars Daily, and I will see you in the comments.